Hi everyone, Brandon Montemare with Montemare & Associates, your number one real estate resource. So something we wanted to talk about, uh, one of the things we take a lot of pride in is not being salesmen in our business. We pride ourselves on being consultants and advisors to all of our clients. So when an opportunity comes up, all right, Sometimes that opportunity can come off as salesy, but we wanna make sure you're informed so you guys have the information you need to make the best decision possible. And a lot of those decisions being made in the next few months or even the possible year are gonna have a lot to do with interest rates. So one of the things we wanna unpack for you really quick is does it still make sense to buy right now, all right? Or does it make sense to wait for later, even with the interest rates being higher? So let's jump in and discuss it now. All right, so let's jump right in. So we're gonna look at a home from like nine months a year ago and that same exact home today. So take any individual home, Valencia Stevenson Ranch, doesn't matter where it is, and we're looking at a price of 935,000. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that all areas, specifically in Santa Clarita Valley, have dropped about 10% give or take. So if we take that same house that was at 935, we drop it down to 850,000, and now we take a look at the interest rates back then and compare them to now. We look at down payment. We're gonna look at everything and see what makes more sense, all right? And sense, S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, and sense, C-E-N-T-S, because it's all about keeping some more money in your pocket. So as we look at this, and we look at the payment back then, so for a $935,000 purchase price with 20% down, all right, we're looking at a payment at a 3.5% rate of $4,436. All right, so now if we take that same home at $850,000 today, right, we have 20% down and at a 6.375% uh, interest rate, we're looking at $5,227. So that number is, of course, higher. That being said, you have $17,000 less in down payment today than you did nine months a year ago because of that 10% drop. So let's say we get a credit from the seller, which a lot of them are willing to do, or we use that money that we don't have to put towards that down payment, right? And we buy it down, uh, do a two one buy down and drop your rate a few percent. So if we get that rate down to an amount of 4%, our payment is now $4,231, which again is now right on par with where we were at uh, at the three and a half percent rate right and now over the two years we got to keep an eye on the market we got to see if we can refi but here's the one thing we need to think about is when you buy a home at a high price like that 935 the only way to affect that price is by paying it down when you buy a home at a lower price at that 850 with a higher interest rate right you can affect your price by dropping that interest rate so we have more options and we can still get you in a very similar payment to where things were nine months to a year ago. So if you were looking at homes nine months a year ago, it wasn't the right time or you weren't able to get it because of the competition, right? We're in a spot right now, especially with the rates pulling back a little bit, where we can put you almost in an identical spot, but with more upside, the ability to refi later into a much lower payment. So we're going to give you a little bit more of a breakdown in the... Uh, in the message below. And if you have any questions, would like to talk more about this opportunity with us or one of our amazing lenders, you know where to find us. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.